8 amp hour battery with 21700 cells for Hilti and an 8 amp hour battery with 21700 cells for the Milwaukee. All right, let's see what the decibels are for the Milwaukee. Ninety-one point eight decibels. It's on speed two. It's on drill. Eighty-six. Sorry, eighty-nine point four decibels. First, we're gonna do a concrete test. We use two brand new half-inch Diablo bits. Immediately, I saw an issue with uh, the new handle for the Milwaukee. Is this one does not have a rod to keep this straight, so that's free and it rotates as it pleases. As you can see this one, the unit acts as one on the previous model. If this one fits, this is the one I'm gonna use. We're gonna do two holes each. Eight amp hour battery, battery is full. It's on hammer feature, speed two. That actually worked pretty well. And so the maximum decibels is 105.1. And we are gonna do one with the Hilti. Hilti Neuron. Oh, Hilti sent me this, by the way. I did not buy this. Battery is full. Eight amp hour battery. Speed two, it's on hammer feature. Both of them are extremely powerful tools. All right, so the maximum decibels is 105.6 for the Hilti. The Milwaukee is 2904-20, $200 tool only, 18 volt system, 33,000 beats per minute. Let's do the second hole. Time. Maximum decibels is 105.1 for the Milwaukee. The Hilti is SF6H22, $200 tool only, 22 volt system, 36,000 beats per minute. All right, let's do one more for the Hilti Neuron. Time. 105.9 decibels for the Hilti. All right, let's make sure that that hole was good. Yes, it was. Make sure the this hole was good. Yes, it was. And make sure the Milwaukee's hole was good as well. Yes, it was. Good to go. Both of them are fantastic tools. Next, let's do an eight inch timber lock and a six inch by half inch lag. It is on speed two, it's on drill. It is on drill, it's on speed two. Okay, so next let's do the six inch by half inch lag. We have that set to max. We are gonna do this on speed one. It's on drill. It's an eight amp hour battery, battery still full. Time, it did it, speed one, did it. And the decibels is 99.7. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Speed, sorry, speed one, it's on drill. Time. 100.9 decibels for the Hilti. Wow. Not too shabby, I'll put that at the right time. I'll put that at the right time. 
All right, Hilti did send me this hole saw kit a little while ago and I've been using them ever since and only using these. These are actually awesome. I love the case that it comes in. Everything's all organized and it's in its place. We are gonna do the two and five eighths. We're gonna do drill speed two. Time. Always the fun part of, about doing hole saws. It's easy though. Speed two, it's on drill. Time. For the final test, we are gonna do the Cowboy Killer, the one and a half inch speed bore on speed two. And if our battery on the, M on the M18 is still full, it is on speed two, drill mode. Oh wow. Two holes in a row, not too shabby you guys. All right, let's see if the Hilti can do the same. This is on drill, speed two. Wow. No problem at all. Both of these tools are bad mamma jammas. They really are, you guys. I had a 68 somewhere. 66 for the Milwaukee. Eh, 61 for the Hilti. It's, it's still chilly in here, you guys. It's not warm. It's not, it's not uh, hot in here. Let's test out really quick the anti-kickback technology. We will do the Milwaukee. Yep. Still, uh, trigger still pulled. Let's do the Hilti. Wait, sorry. Yep, trigger still pulled. Bam, so both of these have anti-kickback technology. I normally don't do that in videos, but I think I'm going to start showing that for now on because it's standard now for most uh, hammer drills or drill drivers. That's like saying that this has a keyless chuck. Keyless chuck is standard now. I remember Hilti sent me this one a little while ago. I did a few videos on it and now Versus videos are coming. And I thank you Hilti for sending me that. The only complaint I have about this is the handle. Now, this is the handle that I had from the previous model, which I still have the previous model, but as you can see, it doesn't work. Light doesn't even go on, so something wrong, something happened with this, and I'm not sure why. Didn't get it fixed. I haven't been able to use this for like a year and a half, so I finally got the Gen 4 model. Like I said, the only thing that I have to complain about this is this handle. This handle is actually terrible. Uh, I do not know why that they took away the rod that like keeps these two together, but they're both like, they could both spin by themselves, which that sort of makes it hard to align the keys for this to lock into place because it's gonna, it fights you. When it comes to Hilti's handle, this thing is awesome. This thing is very robust. It's very, it, it goes on there very sturdy. It grips onto the top. And so I feel like I have more control because it's not wrapping completely around it. And so, yeah, both tools are fantastic. And I'm glad I finally was able to do a versus video between Hilti and Milwaukee, especially hammer drills. Hammer drills is actually my favorite thing to test out. Tested out sound. We tested out the hammer feature. We saw what the motors can do against each other and plenty of other versus videos coming between these two and the other brands. It's awesome. So both of them have anti-kickback technology. Both of them have half inch fully metal, very robust chucks. I do not know what the test results until I edit the video, but both of these have very powerful hammer features. Like it, it buzzed through that quicker than I thought it would. So that's pretty much it for this episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.